Leeds 1, Norwich 0 and the player rating. So Felix today, I thought was great today. Two crucial saves and two good saves at that as well. His distribution was great all game. And, and yeah, I thought it was probably his best game for us so far. 8 out of 10 for Felix. Luke Aylin, for I thought for most of the game, I thought he was solid as ever. Got forwards whenever he could, but there was two big moments in the second half where I thought he could have done better at the back. I thought there was two lapses of, lapses of concentration in his positioning on the Pritchard one-on-one -on -one chance. When the initial cross came in, I thought he could have positioned himself better on that to stop the cross. And then when Oliveira had a solo run at the defence, I thought maybe uh, Aileen should have done a bit better there. But yeah, he did okay. He wasn't quite at his best today. Six out of ten for me. Pontus, Pontus Janssen, excellent as ever. Man of the match for me today. Great goal, good finish with his head. Um, solid, solid at the back as ever. Challenges, blocks, headers, everything. Everything you expect of Pontus. Covering whenever he had, covering whenever he had, whenever he had to. Solid as ever. Eight out of ten for Pontus today. Uh, Liam Cooper, again a bit like Luke Aylin, solid for most of the game but there was a few lapses in the game where he could have done a lot better. I think out of the back he played a few sort of dodgy passes and I think on that Pritchard's one-on-one -on -one chance he should have done a lot, lot better. As the cross came in he sort of got caught underneath the ball and it could have led to a goal that he did okay again. Not quite as good as he has been over the last few weeks, 6 out of 10 for me today. Gaetano Berardi was hardly tested today. Marley Watkins hardly saw any of the ball, so Gatana Berardi hardly had anything to do, but whenever he did have anything to do, he was great. Um, solid as ever. Got forward whenever he could, and I thought his use of the ball was good today as well. So, 7 out of 10 for Gaetano today. Ronaldo Vieira. I thought the defensive game, he was great. I thought the defensive game was outstanding as ever. It was just his passing at times. He was a little bit... You know, giving the ball away a few many too many times, but you know, solid as ever. We won the midfields for most of the game. I'd probably go six out of ten, probably maybe a little bit harsh, six or seven. I can't really decide. I'll go for seven because we won the game. Seven out of ten for Ronaldo Vieira. KP, I thought was excellent as ever. A few, you know, his passing was a little bit not at his very best, but the defensive side of his game was great. Really unlucky not to score from distance as well, but it just went wide in the second half. Good game again for KP. 7 out of 10. Missed consistent for us this season. On the And then the attacking three, Pavel Sabitsky on the right hand side. You know, set pieces are fantastic and he created the goal. Good assist. It was just in open play I was a little bit disappointed. I didn't think he was quite as influential as he can be. He didn't really take on their left back as much as I would have wanted to see. Probably go for a harsh 6 out of 10 today. He just didn't quite create as much as maybe he could have done today. Um, and then through the middle, Samu Saiv. It was just a bit of an off day for Samu today. Yeah, you know, We had the, the chance to make it 2-0. Just couldn't quite be as creative best today. You know, we still always wanted the ball. Just not quite his best today. 5 out of 10 for me. Probably a harsh 5 out of 10 actually. But 5 out of 10 I'll go for. On the left hand side... Alioski, again, a bit like Spitsky and Scythe, in open play, just didn't quite create enough for me. But the defensive side of his game was great as ever. He had to cover a few times. He worked so hard for us, especially yesterday. I thought he worked really hard. Some good set pieces. Six out of ten, probably, for me today. Up top, Kemar Roof. Just what didn't quite happen for him today. You know, he didn't see much service from the three behind him, which is a very, very rare for that to happen for us. Um... And as a result, I think he suffered a little bit because of that. He didn't see much of the ball. But I thought at times maybe his touch could have been better. He lost the ball a little bit too easily. But it was a tough game today. Probably a harsh 5 out of 10 I'd probably go for. Substitutions. Grot and Pennington only sort of played 10 minutes, so I can't really give them a proper rating. Although Grot won a few headers. Um, Pennington sort of shored up the midfield a little bit. But Pablo, I think he played about 10-15 minutes at the end. I thought he had a great impact. He made us a lot more dangerous on the counter-attack. Had a real go. And I thought, out of all the creative creative players we have, I thought Pablo was the best by a mile today. Especially when he came on. He did a lot more than what you know what, what the rest did. Unlucky not to score as well. 7 out of 10 for me for Pablo. But Pontus, man of the match, absolutely for me today. Thanks for watching. We're Lee's TV.